You happen to know where Jorge is by chance? Why would we? Don't ever involve my family in your bullshit. She left her cat and her birth control. No one goes away without those two things. I think Daisy's dead. Welcome to the wild ride known as High Town. This is gonna be my episode seven trailer breakdown where we go through this thing, see if we can find clues to let us know what's gonna happen in the next episode. And I must say, episode six was just a burn turner. I'm still a little sad about Aileen, but we're gonna keep the story going and see what clues we can find in this particular breakdown. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. For those of you that are wondering, I also do have a Life Gains financial channel where I'm showing you guys how to invest in stocks, real estate, a little bit of saving money via vehicles like Tesla, and other things that have gotten me a little bit of success in American capitalism. Let's watch the rest of this trailer, then we'll go through it. We're gonna lay low. Shut down for a while. You want out? I got a hundred people lined up to take your spot. You give the feds what they want, and then you ask for immunity. So what good is immunity if I'm dead? We need to take a ride. They opened this clip up with a bridge, which is a signal to something. Bridges connect bodies of mass across water, and I'm wondering what two masses are we going to see crossing each other in this episode. Then we get to see Sergeant Allen. He's showing up <laughs> to Frankie and Renee's house. And he wants to know where the hell is Jorge? Now, ladies and gentlemen, how has Jorge got on the radar of the police? Is some kind of a warrant popped up for Jorge? Or does this take place after the events of someone in this trailer figuring out that Daisy is missing? Any event, there's a standoff between Frankie and Sergeant Allen. And this looks like a pay-per-view battle royale. Now, the character of Frankie, if these two was to get into a fight, probably would beat the hell out of Sergeant Allen. But it would be a fight, and I would love to see it. And I was happy to see these two have a standoff with Frankie basically telling Sergeant Allen, don't be running up with your BS, asking my family questions. Now, you know Frankie's got some insider helping figure things out when it comes to the police, which a lot of us still feel like is Leslie. But at the same time, we do know that Sergeant Allen and Ray know that, that Frankie is getting some inside help and maybe they'll figure it out. We hear Jackie figuring out that Daisy is missing and apparently she went to Daisy's house. She realizes that she left the cat and she left her birth control. And if you look on this table, you see Daisy was actually researching all things child custody so she could get her kid back. There's even a picture of Daisy with the baby. And I, I just feel bad for Daisy because I think she was really trying to turn it around. But who exactly is Jackie on the phone with? We know she's done with Leslie. Jasley's relationship is over. So maybe she's on the phone with Ray, I would assume. But there's still someone else that we have to call into question, Donna. What is Donna up to? Donna is going to be taking off Tuesday and Thursday to work to get a business degree. But they haven't been sprinkling Donna into this thing for nothing. So I'm just kind of wondering. But in this sequence, I'm thinking Jackie is possibly talking to Sergeant Allen or Ray. Post your comments on who you think she's talking to. Then we see the boss, Charmaine. She pops up at Club Xavier, and she's having a very, very heated discussion with Frankie and Renee. And as she's talking to them, we see Frankie going through a bag, pulling out money and coke. And in this conversation, he's telling Charmaine, look, we're going to have to chill out. It's a lot of heat on us. Of course, he's not going to tell Charmaine that Jorge's missing. Charmaine's letting him know, look, I'm a boss chick. I've got hundreds of people lined up to take your spot if you want to get out. I still feel like Charmaine is putting herself in harm's way playing hardcore. You, we know she's reeling from the death of her sister. We still haven't seen the soldiers that she has to have to have this kind of moxie. 
this kind of backbone. I mean, Charmaine is tough. And to have this kind of confidence in what she's doing, who is her soldiers? She needs to go ahead and get herself a body man because Frankie don't take too kindly to threats. I don't see Charmaine turning tails this season, but I wonder where are we going with this, guys? Post me your comments, man. Is she going to really replace Frankie? I don't think Frankie's done. Then we get a clip of a gas station. And lo and behold, look who's at the gas station. Why don't we start calling them this couple Gas Station Bay? You've got Renee talking to Ray. And Ray is wanting her to take a plea deal to basically talk against Frankie. Now, no one knows but Ray that he's got that tracker on the car. Is there any possibility that she might put it on him good fashion and then he starts singing like a mockingbird. I think not because he still doesn't fully trust her yet. But she did basically give him the honest truth this past episode when she told him, look, I'm stuck with someone I don't want to be with. He's a murderer, a drug dealer. I just want to be, have a simple life. That was the truth. I bought it. But she's still holding out on the truth about the baby. And as I told you guys in that review, Sitting there at the behest of my wife, Renee has fallen off my top three list of TV babes. Her and Professor Addiction from Power are off my top three list right now. I'm so frustrated with these characters. I've had to just move them off the top because I want her to go ahead and tell Ray she's pregnant with his baby so I can see how he is going to respond. Now, He's telling her to go ahead and come clean and get your story right. Let's take a plea deal. And she's wearing this orange coat. That is of significance because in the very next clip, we see her with Frankie, who is telling her, we about to take a ride. And she's wearing that same damn coat, my people. I say that because during the scene, where they're at the gas station, there's a mysterious car riding by. Could somehow, some way, Frankie had noticed she's talking to someone, and is this going to be his way to shake her up? Ladies and gentlemen, post me your comments. As this show gets better and better each week, it's got murder, mystery, drugs, lesbian on lesbian action, Jackie, but there's one thing we didn't see in this trailer, and that's my man Aceto, who done got him a jail bay. So much so, he done bought his jail bay a car. He in there working out, losing weight, getting abs, working that third leg, and I can't wait to see where they're going to take him and that character because he's going to get out of jail, and he's going to have him a jail bay waiting on him outside, who I still think. He's going to be able to get her to go a little corrupt. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Follow me on IG. I tend to talk about this show on IG as I'm trying to get more and more people to follow this show because it is damn good TV. I'm actually liking this better than I like Power on the Stars Network because this show, this show just has so many intricate parts and dynamics. Well done show. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Till that next sex is hell video. I'll see you.